Yo, DK Squared checking in here with our guest Lil Riot. That's Type 1 Diabolic and Chaos, introducing the upcoming star Kyler Allen. So, Kyler, tell us about this new single titled It's Okay. So, um, this single, it's gonna, it was on the album Infinite. Um, this whole song is about like a man struggling and then trying to feed his daughter, his wife, some other stuff. And basically, the song is about struggling in life and trying to get it together by like finding some other, like, some other like output. With me, if I was that guy, I would be into rap, hip hop, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So, tell us about the inspiration behind your album's name. Well, the album Infinite, <clears throat> I thought of it because I was listening to like some old Wu Tang Clang stuff, and I was and I was like, they should name an album Infinite. And I was like, oh, they haven't. So I would I would just like have the name because when I was thinking of it, music will live on forever. It would be Infinite. And anyway, anyway, <clears throat> that I would be able to write and record music, I want that to go on forever. I want my legacy to go on forever. I want it to be infinite. You know what else is infinite? Your improvement. Tell us uh, uh, how you think you're improving so far after making this album. Well, I've improved a lot. I've been like, ever since, like, maybe like a year ago or so in fourth grade, I started, I started rap. I didn't really announce this since I didn't have Instagram or that stuff or anything to like output it. And when I first started like getting that stuff, I started promoting my music and I was like, oh, I should do this more often. And I was using my sucky computer mic so it sounded like a jarble mess. And it was like really always loud when I would just like talk. I'd talk like, hey, how you doing? And it would be like, hey, how you doing? <clears throat> and I've improved a lot over the years with um the other like stuff like with recording i've been like more like more like into rap and i've been learning more words with the dictionary and that stuff so yeah so kyler right now you are a self-producing artist who goes by the stage name lil riot do you see yourself signing with the label eventually uh yeah i want to actually kind of like sign to like shady records and that stuff or or someday someday i've already like tried to some of them cost a lot of money, which I don't have that much money. So yeah. Um. Some of the other stuff I've done in the past, I tried to like get signed, but then it really like sucked. So I was like, no, I'm not getting it signed since like companies always try to do that in my email and my inbox, and I'm like, no, I don't want to get signed because this costs a lot of money. And there, there's this time in my life where I was like. I want to get signed to the label, I don't want to do anything else, so I tried doing that, I wasted a lot of my time and a lot of energy, and I did it, like, for, like, an all-nighter, so I was, like, really tired in the morning, and I had to go to school, which kind of, like, <clears throat> me, and, so, yeah, I, I was, I wanted to, like, join this, like, thing, which actually kind of went successful, it was with this group called Goliath, and then there was this other one called Mash and Duck Records, which I know it sounds like a kind of funny name, but it's it's actually a good, it's a good people. They're really good. You know what I love about Lil Riot Chaos? The side content on his YouTube channel. Yes, his side content keeps me entertained while I'm waiting for his new stuff. I love how he does everything for himself. Up here in Northern New Hampshire, we don't have a lot of rap community going on here but he is not afraid just like Eminem not afraid to do anything by himself and to do it when nobody else is doing it and I love that about him yeah that definitely takes a lot of courage and I'm sure you're inspiring a lot of other kids out there Lil Riot so speaking of inspiration I'm just curious what life obstacles have you come across or overcome that has helped to drive your music or inspire you to write well, my music, um, I've, ins I've inspired some people, I've, I've inspired myself to do more music, because I've learned that music is like an output for my anger and that stuff, and if I'm like feeling sad, I just go to the mic, record a little of my sadness, so I'm my sad, depressed cucumber right now, um, and <clears throat> the most difficult life obstacle is, I'm wondering when I will ever get like a hate comment because I'm like, 
my me some of my stuff is kind of cringy and i'm like if i ever get a hate comment i've been like i don't know what i'd react like because i've gotten hate for like other stuff and i'd be like holy crap i can't wait for an actual good comment because people in my school some of them comment like like in real life they just tell me yo your content is bad or your stuff is really bad and that's kind of hard on me but <clears throat> i've decided that i keep my music and whoever hates me ignore me or i'll eat your dog whoa 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 you can't eat my dogs and to all of you hating on lil riot he's doing a really good thing for himself right now i dare you to have the courage to do what lil riot is doing right now because while it's while it's cringy right now it's going to be something huge in five years ten years where are you going to be in five years or ten years you're not going to be doing anything you're doing now because you're just wasting your time hating on kyler so anyway even though some of my content is kind of cringy and yes daniel i agree totally all the haters out there um some of the other stuff that i've that i'm making is going to be way better than anything you're going to be doing you're probably going to be working at like mcdonald's and if i see you i'll get like a 20 piece chicken nugget and you're gonna be like just like sitting there and i'd be like ha i'm more successful than you but yeah so how people thought that some of my content was funny and i was like oh yeah thanks and then in school i just randomly like we just be walking down in a perfectly straight line because if you're not perfect then you won't be successful in life that's basically what the teachers look like they're gonna say to us but no they're not and <clears throat> so i'd like i tell my friends you know what i'd be like it's like it's basically like the scene from spongebob with the you know what's funny 24 you know it's even funnier 25 but <laughs> i would just randomly yell like something in japanese that would sound like it's in japanese but it's not really japanese it's just something it'd be so we were walking down a line we'd be <laughs> and i ran let me shout out and everybody would just like look at me and start laughing hysterically and it, we've been like doing random cuts this whole like little interview and and it's kind of like professionals just like keep going on because they already have the questions written down and that stuff we're not professional we're just kids maybe only one and I wonder if actually like interviews do this. They just like they're like immediately like okay. So that's what that's my input on this. And so yeah. So Lil Raya, comedian and a musician. <laughs> so thanks for interviewing with us today. We look forward to hearing your future music and just seeing where the music business takes you. All right, so everybody listen to It's Okay by Lil Riot. And we got one final question for you, Lil Riot. What is to come in the future? What is to come in the future? Um, I'm working on some projects. I got four of them. I still need to release some. One of them is get, I, re, I like announced on my Instagram. And then one of them was a subliminal message, which you got to find out. And it, and it was literally find the Easter egg. And then the one, it was called Angry and Evil. And it's like my angry side and my evil side. It's not like a bad meets evil type thing. It's more like getting my angry side out since I've been more angry recently because I've been stressed about my music and that stuff. But I do it for you guys. So, yeah. All right, you heard it from the man himself. Look forward to more coming from Type 1 Diabolic. That's T1D and Chaos with a K. We're going to be putting out more content for you in the future. And we're going to be following up on the progress of Lil Riot and encouraging his output of frustration and passion into his raps. Thank you for coming to our studio.